Appreciate it. Okay. Stolen Social Security numbers and stolen identities are critical for illegal aliens uh, who seek to be employed in this country unlawfully, and those documents are easy to obtain. Many Americans don't even know that their identities have been stolen. Christine Romans reports. The number on this card is the ticket for someone looking to work illegally in the United States. It's gold. It's the key, because in this country, you can't work unless you have a Social Security number. For a few hundred dollars, your vital information, your valid social security number, is for sale. The government last year alerted employers that some 7.7 .7 million W-2 forms had names and social security numbers that did not match. Some simply clerical mistakes. The rest, fraud. ID theft experts say the fastest growing group of victims, legal permanent residents, and children whose name and social security number together allow someone to work unchallenged for years and may not raise any red flags at all. Using a stolen social security number is a felony, but selling one is not a crime. Well, we Congressman Clay Shaw wants Congress, Congress to change that. Right now, now the estimates are between 12 and 13 million illegals working in this country. And probably uh, my guess would be that well over half of them are working on somebody else's social security number. And it can be actually your newborn daughter or son that could be the victim. In these meatpacking raids, the government says the identities of hundreds of legal residents and American citizens were stolen. Some workers even had genuine birth certificates. The government has begun cracking down on the rings that provide the numbers and the documents necessary to work illegally, but whenever a mill is dismantled, another one springs up. Worse, ID theft expert Jay Foley says in some cases he thinks employers may be themselves handing out the numbers to workers using old numbers from personnel files because it's not a crime to give someone another social security number. It's His just a crime. Employers would do that? He, oh. he suspects so. I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. that these... there's gambling in Casablanca. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, I would like to be able to give ICE a, a great cheer, and I guess with a, a give them a limited cheer in, in this operation. Uh, but the fact is we can turn off the illegal employment of illegal aliens in this country within a week and simply aren't doing it. And stealing, uh, as you point out, stealing a Social Security number is a felony, and you've got people walking around saying, but crossing our borders is a misdemeanor. It's not a, a major issue. This is a very major issue. Thank you, Christine Romans. Coming up next, the cause of the E. coli outbreak.